probiotics, digestive enzymes, omega oils, tons of antioxidants, all to help with their low energy, achy joints, bad breath, and all the other problems they have. So yes, my dogs and I are still offering a free Jumpstart trial bag. So your dog can try it. All you gotta do is cover the shipping. Hey, it's an easy, smart way to help your furry friend feel better and live longer. A free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door within a few business days. Go to roughgreens.com. That's R-U-F-F-Greens.com. Rhode Island's news, traffic, and weather station. News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. WHGJ, Providence, and iHeart Radio Station. I'm Rob Woodard. News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. Here's what's happening. A teen victim of a fatal shooting in Providence has been identified. WJAR-TV reporting that 17-year-old Darnell Whitford was shot to death in the capital city Friday night near Dexter and Waldo Streets. The West Warwick Steelers youth football program now mourning the loss of their former player. Police are investigating the eighth homicide in Providence this year. A new board official resigning after a controversy. The Providence Journal reporting an elections administrator Stephen Wallach announced he will step down effective on Friday. That's after revelations were made about sexist, racist, and homophobic communications that he shared with a colleague. That's while he worked for the Rhode Island District Court. Wallach, who departed from the court system last December, released a statement admitting he made poor choices and that the action was being taken in the best interests of the city of Newport. The Rhode Island DEM is reminding fishermen about the dangerous smooth puffer fish. These types of fish carry neurotoxins that are deadlier than cyanide. DEM says smooth puffer fish are becoming more common in Rhode Island waters and anglers are being urged to consider eating those fish or even using them as bait. Get news 24-7 on demand at newsradioRI.com. They still haven't found them. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. Two children went missing in Pennsylvania flooding Saturday. A two-year-old girl and her nine-month-old brother. Their mother was found dead. If their vehicle got swept away, four other people were killed. Upper Makefield Township Fire Chief Tim Brewer says they have tripled the number of resources and teams looking for the kids. We have search teams that are assisting us from Delaware, Chester, parts of Bucks County, New Jersey. We also have deployed K-9 units, underwater assets, air assets. Those air assets include drones. Officials say storms dumped about seven inches of rain in approximately 45 minutes in that area, causing the flooding. Fox is telling J. Powers, flooding even more widespread in South Korea after days of torrential rain there. 40 people were killed as crews search for more who are missing. The White House is reacting to Russia backing out of a deal brokered with Ukraine in the middle of their war that allowed grain exports through the Black Sea to alleviate a worldwide shortage. Well, the Biden administration says in a statement this morning, Russia pulling out of the agreement will worsen global food security and harm millions of people. This is a bridge in the Crimea region of Ukraine that Russia took control of years ago was bombed, disrupting vehicle traffic. Fox's Alex Hogan says it underscores just how crucial of a corridor this bridge is for Russian forces as it connects the annexed Crimean Peninsula to Russia. And this isn't the first time that it's been attacked. Right now, we know that the bridge is at least partially closed after the blast went off early this morning, just before dawn. The blast killing at least two people. The bridge also has train tracks that were not damaged. Rail service resumed. A freight train went off the tracks outside Philadelphia early this morning. About 20 cars now lie zigzagged on the ground. Several of them spilled silicon pellets. Sheena Ferreira with Fox 29 TV is in Marshfield Township. Residents are being told to evacuate their homes uh, that further down, which is about a mile away from where I'm standing. So this is a very residential area. America's listening to Fox News. Now, your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Money. That's money. Enter it now. Now, here's your Storm Team 10 forecast. Mostly sunny, hot, and humid for the rest of the day. Inland temperatures reaching the upper 80s, nearing 90 degrees, with the beaches headed towards the low and middle 80s. Overnight tonight, we'll see a few more clouds pop up. Temperatures in the 60s and low 70s, with some fog and clouds to start tomorrow morning. Tuesday shaping up to be a nice one with a mix of sun and clouds in the middle 80s. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Christina Ernie on News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. News Radio 920 at 104.7 FM. Traffic. We're busy on the 610 connectories between Dean Street and 95. Pockets of delay on 95 North from Route 10 in Cranston to 195. Again, from Broadway to the state offices. 95 South is slow from Smithfield Ave to Atwell's Ave. I'm Jackie Murphy on News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. This report is sponsored by Blindster.com. Hi, I'm Kyle at Blindster.com. 
Blind Store, we offer over 50 different custom window treatments, including phone with blinds and shutters, all at prices less than retail. Plus, we'll send you free samples before you buy. Don't hire an expensive pro. Do it yourself and save money at BlindStore.com. With the Autio app riding shotgun, every road trip is an adventure. Autio is my traveling companion. Educational, entertaining, funny. It makes the drive come to life. The Autio app automatically brings you stories about the natural wonders, local legends, and fascinating histories outside your car window. With over 10,000 unique stories from coast to coast. I've learned more about my hometown from the Autio app than I did growing up here. Autio, the perfect companion for your next road trip. Learn more at autio.com. Providence Promise is using 529 college savings accounts and free community responsive programming to make college more accessible. Visit their website at pvdpromise.org to learn more because all students deserve the benefits of higher education. That huge data breach from a few weeks ago has probably moved off your radar, but your information could still be on the dark web. LifeLock alerts you to suspicious activity, like someone using your info. If there's a problem, LifeLock's U.S.-based identity restoration specialists will work to fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions, but LifeLock will help protect your identity long after this breach is forgotten. Save up to 25% your first year. Use promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. Numerology, it's a science of numbers. Coast to coast AM. The belief is that everything in this universe has vibration. You can walk in a building and feel you don't belong there. That's all vibration. Overnights at 1 on News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. on Friday. Tucker Carlson was hosting this. It's an amazing thing. It's been going on for years, but I think this is the first time it's really, they got it right, and it could be seen nationwide. No network would cover this, but we did. And 10 million viewers later, uh, it is becoming uh, known as the way to do debates or the way to see candidates and have them really present themselves to you. It, it was it was awesome and game-changing. Afterwards, I sat down with Tucker Carlson for a Blaze exclusive interview with Tucker. I want to tell you, something is happening with Tucker Carlson. And I don't think anybody else is going to talk about it, so I will. We do that in 60 seconds. So, you know who you are. The moment I start talking about severe and frequent pain, your ears perk up, as they always do. You 